Just a little tease right quick to remind you guys to sign up for the October challenge with Kiara Lachey on ifyoucanmove.com. The link is down below in the description box. Y'all know I went from a large to a medium and I just found out that I won for most referrals on the Hip Hop Tabata challenge from August. So I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I, and I just actually just finished working out with Kiara. I did like two workouts, which were like an hour today. I love her so much. Her energy is so amazing and I'm so happy that I'm in this place y'all because I just I love like I'm cute you know what I'm saying like I was cute before but I'm super cute now and I can't wait to see what I look like after the October challenge lyric is actually joining me my husband is joining me for the October challenge which starts on October 11th if you're going to you know be become a part of the challenge I need you guys to go on the site sign up okay tell them that I sent you okay and also get your weighted bands Okay, get your booty band so you can be fully engulfed in this. You definitely need the weighted bands for Trap and Tone October 11th, you guys. Okay, so y'all make sure y'all sign up. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, y'all. And also, please don't forget about this ISOT. I know that y'all stay trying to, you know, say, oh, y'all scamming people. Look, okay, why would I be buying it? And, and using it myself. Am I scamming myself? That don't even make sense. Look at me, okay? It's all been a part of the journey. And if you wanna try, you can get your money back. Like if you, you know, wanna try the, the samples and you don't like it, you can get your money back the whole nine, okay? It's easy peasy if you just wanna try it out. Um, I would definitely suggest it if you're working out and everything, if you have like some stomach issues and you know you're always trying to regulate, I would definitely suggest getting the tea because whenever we're like feeling nauseous or our stomach is upset, we drink the tea, we feel better, we use the bathroom, okay? So get into. Well, anyway, I hope you guys join the challenge and let's get into whatever video you're about to watch. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue and I am back for another Real Housewives of Potomac review okay y'all i am giving y'all everything from a new camera <laughs> sorry i get i get real excited about new equipment okay um but anyway i hope it's all working well i hope it sound good i hope it look good okay i put this in 29 frames so i'm trying to give y'all i'm trying to give y'all hollywood with the frames per second out this bit <laughs> okay <laughs> look so anyway let's go ahead and get into real housewives of potomac because it was a mess Okay, it has been a mess and y'all know we gonna agree to disagree on this situation because I feel like y'all know what it already is, okay? Once we have gotten to this episode, we have just basically accepted that both people, Monique and Candace, played a part in this altercation. I don't care what anybody says. I feel like both people equally played their part and I also feel like everybody around them played a part as well, okay? And we're gonna get into that. But I just want to say, starting off, general purposes, GP, both people were wrong in this situation, okay? Now, the grandstanding and putting the responsibility of the entire black community of women on reality TV on Monique's back, I am not a fan of, and I have said that before. I am over that mind frame. Maybe that worked in the 70s and the 60s and the 80s and the 90s and all of that with the respectability politics but as we have seen it does not matter what we do we are still viewed a certain way okay and there are a whole bunch of other housewives who have different skin tones who have different ethnicities who have slapped the shit out of one another on national television or have been high and drunk off whatever on national television and nobody has made them responsible for the degradation of an of an entire people okay so that's what i feel like we're gonna stop doing okay I also want us to stop using the current climate of the country as a way to make people feel bad. Because at the end of the day, if you can sit up there and flourish and gossip in, in other people's mess, you know what I'm saying? If you can sit up there and be so happy to talk about Karen's business and Ashley's husband's business and Robin's business. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, Giselle, I'm talking about you specifically. If you could talk about everybody else's business and everybody else's issues and be messy and be a mean girl and ostracize women and bully everybody, if you can do that in this climate, then Candace can get dragged in this climate. That, that, that I'm just going to put that there and that's just what it is. Now, I don't believe that Candace deserved that dragging. I really don't. I think that Candace does a lot of running her mouth, but I don't feel like she deserved to get, you know, beat up like that. But at the same time, I am under the same understanding as Monique that if you get in my face, if you get in my personal space 
and tell me to drag you and put your hands on me, then you let me know that we have now passed the precipice of which this can now get physical. And that's all I'm saying, y'all, is that Candace needs to take responsibility for the fact that you don't get in people's face, put your hands in their face, and tell them to drag you if you're not really ready for the physicality of it. And you then don't turn around and say you had no responsibility in the physical altercation when you also played a part in the physical altercation getting to where it went. Now, to be fair, to be fair, Candace was not the one that actually pulled Monique and made Monique like throw the hit the way she did okay it was Giselle I don't know if anybody noticed it but Giselle grabbed Monique and pulled Monique and that is when Monique went to grab Candace and grab Candace's hair okay they were already in each other's face with the flipping of the hair and all of that okay and I said Monique was wrong for that Okay, you was wrong for that, but she could have flipped her hair and then they still could have separated and nobody's face would have got punched in. Okay, <laughs> like I'm just saying that was still a level and then it still got taken to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? And then the aftermath running behind her. Well, Candace kept talking, so I'm going to keep running up. Okay, now here's the thing. None of that is right. None of that is mature. None of that is the way we should handle altercations as adult people with kids. We should always try to use our words. But when things do get physical, it is a mistake. It happens. We can get past it. Okay? That's just how I feel. If I can get past all these other physical altercations that have happened on national television, then I can damn sure get past Monique dragging somebody who was asking for it. Especially since I like her and y'all say I'm biased and I tell y'all I don't care. <laughs> I see it the way I see it. I like Candace too. I just think Candace plays victim a lot and i think monique you know is 100 percent honest about the fact that's why i don't understand why people are always trying to make it seem like she fake because i feel like she will actually tell you yeah okay i'm not sorry i'm not remorseful and y'all i have been in fights before and i have never been sorry or remorseful for those fights not once not once have i been sorry for a fight every time a fight happened somebody came at me in a way that i feel like this is what you wanted and this is what you got even if I didn't win the fight, I am not sorry that the fight happened. You played with me, and this is what transpired. Either You know what I'm saying? Look, it is what it is. Fights happen. But I also grew up in the real world, and y'all be on reality TV trying to hold people to unrealistic standards. And in real life, people fight. If you get in my face, if you put your hands on me, we're going to fight. Like, I don't understand. But anyway, y'all. Candace is cleaning her house with the echoes of let her go Monique in the background okay she's sad and she doesn't know what she could have done to cause it to go there I'm like oh you don't <laughs> getting in somebody's face telling them to drag you and then poking them oh no okay Monique is tired all right and she plans to meet with the ladies to have a conversation she wants to clear up the perception of the fight so she calls karen to ask if karen can get the ladies to come together and you know facilitate a conversation amongst all the ladies with the exception of candace right so karen calls candace to let her know what is going on and to extend the invitation to Candace to have a similar sit down if that's what she wants to do. Candace is upset that Karen is giving Monique this amount of grace and she feels as if she's already had a conversation with all the ladies and everybody's on her side so she doesn't need to do that. And I feel like, hey, that's fine if that's how you feel. But I appreciate Karen. I appreciate how Karen handled this because Karen is both of their friend and I think she gave both of them the same space and grace in the situation and I'm appreciative of Karen on this show today now as far as candace getting upset with karen i just feel like that's stupid like i understand you're upset because you're the one who got beat up but at the end of the day like this fight has been happening for a long time and to now ask for karen to pick sides is just as immature as the fight that actually happened okay like so just uh, stop okay i i just wouldn't ask that of my friends i probably would fall back a bit but I feel like there needs to be self-reflection, period, when I'm a 30-something-year-old woman that just got into a physical altercation. And nobody attacked you. And that's what pisses me off, that they try to run this narrative as if Monique attacked Candace. And no, that's not what happened. We've seen folks get attacked before. Remember when Zell, remember when Zell jumped on Mr. Ray on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood? That was an attack. Remember when Jocelyn 
that one season at the reunion literally fought every damn body and everybody said she was on coke those were attacks because people were completely caught off guard wasn't even having an argument with her and she just hauled off and hit people okay that is an attack us being in each other's face poking each other and ended in a fight is not a damn attack so hang it up so candace goes to therapy and talks about the fight and this is when we get the real blow by blow of the fight to an extent okay and this is when i saw giselle's hand grab Monique and pull her by her, her shirt. And I think she thought that was Candace, okay? And then I also saw Wendy throw the drink in uh, Monique's face. And Robin said it was from the table getting knocked over. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Wendy threw the glass in Monique's face, but I don't know if she did that on purpose. I think she was trying, like that was her reaction when they were trying to break up the fight. But she threw a drink in Monique's face and that's when Monique really started just throwing hands because now something is in my face. So I'm just fighting for survival. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on. Not for survival, but y'all know what I mean. I don't know what's going on. Something is in my eyes. So I'm gonna just start hitting to protect myself. Candace says that she's been pummeled by social media because Monique's lackeys put it out there that she threw a glass of wine in Monique's face and then Monique dragged her, okay? So because of the angle of the story, everybody thinks that Monique is the person that leaked this story to the blogs. I don't know if she leaked it to the blogs. I don't know why she would leak it to the blogs because it doesn't make her look good either way to get in a physical altercation on the show. It's gonna come out anyway. So I don't know why she would be the one to leak it, but I do understand why everybody thinks it's her because of the angle. But it could have just as easily been Ashley. It could have just as easily been production. It could have easily been somebody who was sitting there um, you know, in that restaurant that day, it could have been anybody, but I do feel like because of that angle, it, it could have been somebody from Monique's team that leaked it or whoever she talked to about the fight could have leaked it. Either way, it doesn't even matter because it's of no consequence eventually the video was going to come out and we were going to see the video because it's being recorded for the show. So I feel like it didn't even matter who came out and said what first we had our speculations, but at the end of the day, we were always going to have to wait to see what happened before we really formed a real strong opinion. I said myself that I thought I was going to feel differently at the end of the day. This whole fight was more of a mutual thing than anything to me. And I don't really blame either one of them completely because I just don't, I don't see it that way. I feel like a whole bunch of little things added to it. Yes, Monique was on one. Yes, Candace was running her damn mouth and she often does, okay? It kills me that everybody else has, you know, threatened or said that she need her ass whooping all of that, i.e. Robin. But today, today, Giselle wants to bring up Monique as the only person that's ever threatened to beat somebody's ass or gotten in somebody's face. When Robin has done all of that, but we're going to act as if Robin hasn't done any of that and she's going to grandstand and act like this is a serious situation, Monique, and you need to take all of the lashing and beatings that we're going to give you about it. No, I don't. No, I don't. And can I mention that Monique looked impeccable this episode? Impeccable. The makeup, the hair, the clothing. I mean, I was in love with her shirt. I was in love with her shirt, okay? So if I show up in a video with that same shirt, don't get upset. I told you I loved it. Okay. <laughs> All right. But yes, anyway, I feel like if you're going to come and, you know, fall on your sword, basically, so to speak, in front of people who you know can't wait to stab you with it, then you might as well look good while you're doing it. And I think that's the frame of mind. Giselle coming to the meeting with security really annoyed me and was a gaslighting type of situation because... The idea that Monique is going to just attack somebody out of the blue is ridiculous. That is not what happened. And y'all know that's not what happened. Everybody saw that fight was getting ready to happen on both sides, not just on Monique's, which is why Wendy took the butter knife out of uh, uh, Candace's hand, which is why everybody was trying to create some type of separation to put their hands in before the fight even really had started. OK, so to me, I feel like we can sit up here and all put it on Monique. But we all know the only reason that y'all are all putting it on Monique is because y'all don't like Monique. OK, Robin, you're a follower. Giselle, you're jealous. I don't care what any of y'all are talking about. Giselle has been jealous of that girl. She told her she had four houses. I saw it then and it's been happening ever since then. It doesn't even matter what Monique says. 
she's going to feel how she's going to feel. Anytime she has the opportunity to make Monique look like the bad guy, she takes it every time. So to me, it doesn't even matter what is being said. Giselle already came feeling how she felt when she showed up with security. Robin is always going to do whatever Giselle wants her to do. Wendy, I feel like, is on one because... She is trying to protect the image that she has. But at the end of the day, you don't come on a reality show to protect an image. Just saying. I don't care what anybody says. You don't come on a reality show if you're trying to protect an image that makes no sense whatsoever. Reality shows are infamous for destroying your image. When Candace was talking to the doctor and she says that she didn't think that she contributed to the physical part. And she says that she had approached Every confrontation with Monique would care that season because of what happened in the previous season. I actually agree with that. And I feel like Candace absolutely apologized and tried so many times to come to Monique, like, you know, in a way to where I'm not trying to come at your neck. I'm not trying to do what I did last season, which is run my mouth and cause us to get into a bigger fight than it needs to be because you're my friend. Here's the thing, though, Candace, you always ignore your part in the in the behind the scenes drama. You can say what you want, but you weren't a loyal friend when they was at Andy's baby shower talking that shit about her and you didn't bring that back to her. Karen and Ashley brought it back. You didn't. OK, which makes me feel like you can't say that she was a loyal friend to somebody if you pick and choose when you want to be loyal to them. OK, so don't act like you didn't have a part in a breakdown of y'all relationship, Candace. But you are right. You absolutely tried to handle her with kid gloves every time y'all got into it. You walked away and everything else until this last time. So Candace, because of how she handled the situations prior, will feel validated and feeling as if she had no part in the physical altercation. When in all actuality, the point in which you added to it is when you got in her face and put your hands on her as well. Period. Now, the whole time Monique is explaining herself, Robin is rolling her eyes, Wendy in her jacket on her shoulders and her one eye. Listen to me, okay? Listen to me. I have been called an N-word, okay, on national television. They have talked about my children and I have never once gotten physical with anybody. I said, let me tell you something, Wendy. Let me tell you something, Wendy. Commentating on CNN is not the same thing as somebody getting in your damn face on a reality show and stop comparing it like it's the same thing. And here's the thing. When Monique says physical words and getting in somebody's face is just as bad as hitting them and Wendy says, no, it's not. That's not true. But then proceeds to compare people calling her names with Candace getting in Monique's personal space. Okay. And we're going to talk about equivalencies. I'm going to say that somebody talking shit to you through a screen is not the same thing as that person coming in your face, putting their hands in your face, and then putting their hands on your body. Okay? Even though she put her hands on her first, you know, as far as flipping her hair. Monique, you was wrong. You flipped her hair first. I've been saying that. Okay? You flipped her hair first. Okay? But... You told her to get out your face and what did she do? She came right back into your face, <laughs> okay? So I just feel like everybody played a part right now and the idea that we're gonna sit up here and put it all on Monique and not have, you know, Candace have any responsibility in a fight is ridiculous to me. And I honestly appreciate the way that Monique has not changed what she said one time about people should not get in people's faces and run their mouth. There needs to be something said for not getting in people's face and running your mouth if you're not about that life, okay? Because in real life, that's the way the world works. In real life, if you don't want to physically fight somebody, you don't get all in their personal space, okay? I honestly don't like when people get all in my personal space and do find it physically threatening when somebody gets in my personal space. <laughs> so the idea that that's not just as threatening uh, is actually hitting somebody is ridiculous because I feel like once you done got in my personal space, you letting me know that this can get physical. Ashley tries to defend Monique, which I appreciated because I feel like I would have been pissed off at Ashley had she not taken the approach that she took. Everybody wants to be mad at Ashley. I was not because I feel like Ashley has done so much terrible shit on this show that she should have been dragged seasons ago. OK, but here's the thing. Monique decided to make up with Ashley and give her grace. And now Ashley is doing the same thing to Monique. So that's that on that. I can't get mad at Ashley for defending Monique because Monique did the same thing for her. Okay, period. Karen, 
Karen said, you were wrong. Candace didn't deserve that, but I'm not going to throw you away. You are still my friend. Wendy, Giselle, Robin get upset. I don't know why y'all this upset. If it was y'all friend, if she was y'all friend, y'all would be trying to have her back. Y'all would be trying to make excuses for her, specifically Robin. Like, <laughs> girl, please. All you do is make excuses for Giselle. Shut up. Then, when as soon as Monique sits down to start talking about what she feels happened, there's some confusion about the timeline and whether she remembered it or if she didn't remember it. Somebody was in my live talking about, she lied, Bondi. She lied. She said that she didn't remember, but then the night of the fight, she's recalling what happened. What difference does it damn make? is my question. Whether I remembered it or I remembered some things and didn't remember the order that they went in. Y'all, I have been in fights before and you never really remember exactly how shit went down all the way. You just don't. Once you, especially if you black out. I, I black out all the time, which is why I don't like to fight because I don't like that feeling. But I black out. So it's like stuff is going on, but I feel like I'm not there. I feel like I can't see. OK, my eyes are open. I feel like I can't see. I'm just moving. OK, I'm just moving. I can feel people hitting me. The shit don't hurt. Your adrenaline is going. OK, so I know how it feels to be in a fight, which is why I understand where Monique is coming from when she's saying I don't really remember how it all went down. So when I say somebody threw something in my face and then I reacted, you know what I'm saying? That's the way I recall it. That's the way I remember it, because. You don't always remember this shit exactly. If you want to call her a liar because of that, then go ahead and call her a liar. At the end of the day, it makes no fucking difference because we have now seen the video of what happened. So however she remembered it, it doesn't even matter. She still dragged the girl. <laughs> okay? She still dragged the girl. She never said she didn't. It doesn't even matter who hit first once you've whipped somebody's ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't really matter if you've whipped their ass. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can say she didn't, but Candace didn't have any control over her head. Okay? You got your ass whipped when you couldn't even protect your face because somebody had you in such a tight grip while they were slapping you upside the damn head. Okay? Because she ain't even really punch her as hard as she could have. She opened hand a couple of times. Robin tells Monique that Candace didn't throw the wine in her face. That it was the velocity from the table being moved. That's a lie. Wendy threw the wine. I still think that she threw it in response to the fight. <laughs> Somebody talking about they didn't been in a fight. Girl, you ain't been in no damn fight. Throwing wine. Then they say that if she was embarrassed, why did she leak the story to the blogs? She says, I didn't leak anything to the blogs. I didn't leak anything to the blogs. Two days later, I told somebody about it once I started remembering certain things. And Wendy was like, well, that adds up. It's like, well, so what? Like, so what? I told somebody something. That doesn't mean I'm telling you I told a blog something. I didn't tell the blogs anything. That doesn't mean that somebody who she talked to didn't tell. That doesn't mean Ashley didn't tell. That doesn't mean some of the producers, somebody who was sitting at a table. Because somebody recorded video who was sitting at a table during the altercation. So that's why I feel like it was either somebody who was at the restaurant production or somebody who was a part of Monique's team maybe. But I don't know if it was necessarily her that got on the phone with a blog and put the story out. I don't know if I believe that. I don't think she has a reason well, maybe she has a reason to save face to lie about that. That's fine. I can ask her about that later. But I don't care. <laughs> Somebody leaked the story. It was going to come out anyway. It was going to come out anyway. It's being filmed for a reality show, y'all. So that's why I feel like people spend their time being upset about shit and trying to call people out and catch people in lies that don't even really matter to the story. It's of no consequence at this point. Like I said, Monique says she didn't. Robin says, you got on the internet and said, ask and you shall receive, which means you don't have any remorse. And she was like, I'm not remorseful. And they're like, so exactly. She was like, well, yeah, I never said I was remorseful. And Ashley was like, babe, she never said she was remorseful, babe. I was like, shut up, Ashley. <laughs> but I was dying right then. But that's the truth of the matter that she's like, I feel embarrassed because I shouldn't have let it get to that point. But I am not sorry that I whipped her ass and I wasn't sorry after when I was running because she kept talking shit to me. And if you don't run your mouth, you don't get beat up. And I'm just like, well, that's how I was raised. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. 
Like, I mean, that's why you learn how to fight when you some, you know what I'm saying? Or you somebody that's not scared to fight like me. You know what I mean? You might get beat up. You'll still be talking the next day. I guess we'll just keep fighting until somebody wins or somebody loses. But bitch, as long as I can talk, I'm going to talk my shit. Okay? <laughs> so I'm probably a little bit more like Candace than I'd like to admit. But, I, you know, I, I also know my limits. And I also don't get in people's personal space if I don't really want to get in a fight with them. That's not my thing. So if I'm coming at you with the words, I'm still sitting. Okay? I've been sitting and relaxed coming at you the whole time. <laughs> Ain't moved a muscle, bitch, whatever. Of course, like I said, Wendy and Giselle grandstand about black women and she tearing us down. And before she got there, they even said that she wasn't a good example to her daughter. And I'm like, well, Giselle, if Monique isn't a good example to her daughter, then neither are you. Because you're going to get up there and say that your children don't want you around her. Your children don't want you around Jamal, but you're still around him. So, yeah, I don't want to hear anything from Giselle talking about her and Pastor Jamal Bryant have an image to uphold. Girl, what an image. Y'all wrote a whole book about how he cheated on you and had been cheating on you since before you married his duck ass. Okay? What are you talking about? You don't have an image, ma'am. You just got on television and made a situation that was bad worse to make yourself look good because you don't like somebody because they got more than you. You're annoying. And you're pathetic. I think that was terrible for Robin and Giselle to say that she's not a good example for her daughter. I think that's terrible. And I can think of a, a number of things in Robin and in Giselle's life that would make them not good examples to their daughters. But I would never say, oh, uh, they children, period. But I would never say no shit like that to somebody that they're not a good example for their child. I just think that's, I'm sorry, I just think that's real messed up to say somebody not a good example for their child. And I do, and I think that's bullshit as well. Um, at the end of the day, what Monique's little girl can learn from this is nobody plays with your mama, okay? And yes, keep your hands to yourself. But if somebody get in your face, Step on their foot and knock the shit out. <laughs> y'all can say what y'all want to, but I was raised that if somebody hit you, you hit their ass back. If somebody put their hands on you, you put your hands on them. If somebody get in your personal space, then you check that ass, okay? Monique is dead wrong as a grown woman. The rules of the playground is don't start no shit, won't be no shit, okay? That, that's just all it is. Don't get in my personal space. If you don't want this heat, if you don't want this smoke. Of course, at some point, Giselle says, I in no way, shape, or form want to be any way around you. So Giselle is trying to box Monique out of the show. And for the rest of the season, uh, it seems as if she's going to do just that. Now, I don't think it's because of her, though. Monique said, I didn't go on the trip because I didn't want to go on the trip. Not because I wasn't invited on the trip. Now, we ain't there yet, so I don't know. But I honestly feel like it's in her best interest and in Candace's best interest for them to create some type of separation at least for a little while. Now, y'all know this went through the courts and the judge who looked at all of the video threw it out. And I think the judge threw it out because there was fault on both sides. Like everybody else with common sense can see there's fault on both sides. Okay. And that's just how I see it. I also don't like the way Robin tried to check Monique for the way she was coming at Giselle. And it's like Giselle was being very condescending and disrespectful towards her. And then she's just supposed to sit there and take it. Like, no, I'm not. Look, no, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and take it from Giselle just because she feels like serving it up to me, grandstanding, and acting like she's so much better than some damn body. No, I don't. I don't have to deal with that. And I won't. Okay, Robin, you might want to live up her ass, but that's not where I reside. That's not my address, okay? Mine is in Potomac, okay? Look, I, I just didn't like that, y'all. That worked on my nerves. I also don't like how close Wendy's eyebrows are to her hairline. That's a lot for me. Um, But yeah, y'all, I, I just feel like this was Monique's lashing. She looked amazing while getting it. Um, and she's going to have to go and talk to her pastor. Um, I think somebody needs to go to therapy. I don't know if a pastor can help you with this. Um, even though I didn't like the way Wendy was like, I don't know if you can pray about this. And I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? People would definitely pray away anger issues and, and, you know, deep rooted issues that cause them to be violent. People definitely pray on those types of issues in conjunction with other things, but prayer can definitely help you. Meditation can definitely help you. And the idea that Monique is in any way, shape or form beyond help because her and Candace got into a little hair pulling thing. Like, please stop. Please stop. Y'all be doing the damn most. And Wendy, 
Wendy, I gave you a lot of grace when they called you aggressive. So to see you turn around and play like this, I'm very annoyed with you, sis. And if you're trying to protect your image so damn much, don't get on a reality show. Because Housewives reality shows are drama-filled and known for hair pulling and slaps and drink throwing every now and again. Okay? That's what y'all are known for. So the fact that you think you have represented yourselves as anything other than this is annoying to me. <laughs> okay? You may not always get physical, but sometimes y'all do. So please chill out. And another thing, Robin loved bringing people's families into it. And that's what's annoying to me about her. You know what I'm saying? Because she, you know, you're going to bring uh, Monique's daughter into it. Then let's not forget that it was Robin and Giselle that was talking about how uh, Monique's son wasn't really Chris's. And it was Candace that put that out there first out there on the internet that that's what they was talking about behind the scenes, trying to make it seem like Monique's youngest son wasn't for Chris. Okay. Now she didn't say that was true. So let's be clear, but she was still the one that put it out there that that's what was going on behind the scenes. So Robin, you ain't shit neither. Giselle, you ain't shit neither. Cause this is what y'all do behind the scenes. Y'all may not put y'all hands on nobody, but y'all be like actively trying to destroy people, families and shit. Y'all do a lot. And act like words aren't as harmful. I'll beg to damn differ. But anyway, y'all, that's my opinion on the situation. Y'all are entitled to feel however y'all feel about it. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all may not agree with me. And that's fine. Y'all feel like it's all Monique's fault. That's fine. You feel like it's all Candace's fault. That's fine. I don't care. I just kind of feel like it's both of their fault. It's messed. It's a reality show and everybody needs to stop making it so deep as a representation of all black people. Cut it the fuck out. Everybody fight. Everybody fight. White people, Asian people, Indian people, German people, Russian people, people be in parliament beating the shit out of each other. And y'all going to sit up there and act like black people don't deserve a seat at the table because they got into a little hair pulling. Please stop. Please stop. If you live to fight another day, then we all right. But yeah, y'all, you know, people make mistakes. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right, y'all. People make mistakes. And you're right. I might be a little meaner to somebody I don't like. Oh, well. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, that's all I got to say. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I love y'all. I hope y'all are having a good day, and I hope y'all appreciate the content, okay? And I'll see y'all later. Mwah! Thank you.